Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 52. We've got a, an unbelievable first round match here. We've got Nelissius with probably the best team in the entire cup with his chaos, uh, with their chaos, sorry, and Purple Chest with uh, a very lean but efficient uh, dwarf team. In the booth with me is Fymir, hello. Hello everybody and what the game we have here, the best chaos team in the competition, probably as you said, maybe the best team in general versus PC's Dwarves. PC that once again is trying to win Chalice before the graduation of his daughter. And this game is dedicated to our viewers in Belize. Oh. Which is a country in Central America and the national flower is the black orchid. Nice. And the national dish is called Boil Up. Oh. And in the a flag of the country, they have two black uh, men, one with an axe, another with a baseball bat. <laughs> or the equivalent of, uh, oh no, it's a uh, rowing. Uh, I don't know, very interesting. Uh, just check it out. Anyway, <laughs> banging on men oh, here. I hate, this. With, uh, I hate this foul. What the hell is this foul, PC, you loon? That's terrible. And there it goes. You weren't joking, that is that is the flag. <laughs> I just thought you said that as a joke. <laughs> um, yeah, so 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 PC's got so there's a lot of inducements here. PC's got a wizard, he's got a bribe and a apple, he's got boomer and barrack. Uh, this is a dwarf, it looks like a goblin, but it is a dwarf. And I don't know if he induced this death roll or if he bought it before the match started, but whatever it is, like he's just got it for this match. Um, uh, both death roller, I think. Yeah, well, there you go. So, yeah, because it's cheaper, obviously, to buy it. If you've got the money, then you buy it because it's cheaper, uh, you know, saves the 30. Um, so, yeah, 15, 16 players total. So, you know, that's pretty good going up to 16. And uh, loads of guard, mighty blow on that. Yeah, and then this dirty player, uh, Merc. But you, you can't foul, like, okay, it's a decent goat, obviously, Rackle, but, like, he's got no dodge, so the, rack, the, the tackle doesn't matter. So it's just a wrestle guard goat. Or a block like block and wrestle. Okay, that's a bit shit, but never mind. Um, you've got to keep it as a threat to foul the pommers, right? And you've got to foul pommers. Like the pommers are what wins the game for Nolly here. And Nolly has four claw pommers, so they're going to be claw pomming, you know, sig a lot, right? There's going to be a significant amount of claw pomming, and you have to have the the bribe DP as a deterrent. And okay, by by fouling shitters. You can argue that, you know, it, it gets your men up and it gets you more chances as the match goes on. But you're going to get chances to foul because they're going to be piling on all the time. So that argument doesn't hold water for me at all. I want to foul the best players, not shitheads. Anyway, uh, you need to share your screen with me, Jimmy. I will do. Here comes the first uh, blitz. Yep, goes for the best player. It's not a level five goat though. It's a level. It's a level three, Ducky. It's it's just wrestle guard. And decides not to pile on to base the ball. I think I think that's a terrible foul. There you go. You can you can disagree, but but you know Ducky likes that though. Ducky, Ducky likes that anyway because that's what Ducky did in a in a not in a similar game but in Chalice. I remember where Ducky you know. He just fouled. Oh wow! This was this was weird. Why, why is the ball here? Did it just kick off and he couldn't move any further? PC should have like if he doesn't make that foul, he protects the ball a bit better as well. But yeah, D Ducky did did a somewhat similar thing. In the, I remember in one chalice where he just you know was trying to foul line rats and stuff to get an advantage, rather than fouling like the two good players on the Skaven team. But that was a different situation. But the same kind of thing, you know. So like, Ducky favoured the going for the snowball. Um, I just feel like PC can't win that way. He has to take out the threats. So, yep. I hate it that foul. Well, PC has two dirty players on the pitch. That's true, yes. That is true. But only one bribe. So, I, I like keeping the bribe free. But this was, this was yeah, allowing this guy to get sworn by this. Like, this was bad, wasn't it? And now uh, PC is in a very complicated situation because uh, the ball carrier uh, has a leader and that's it. Mm. Yep, but nice. runs they away. Mm. 
Fouls again. Another stun. Now tries to dodge heroically. Yeah, just don't get claw bombed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if he'd made that dodge, he would have dodged again. In fact, uh, that's the part I was watching, and he made the whole uh, a chain. Yeah. You know, he's dodge out the of here. Path. He's like, yeah, yeah, dodge out of here. I'm not even gonna go one per one. <laughs> And doesn't follow, so another turn without pylon. Mm. I mean, that was just piling on next to the dirty player, so maybe you know. Uh, but then. I think uh, PC was opting here for the high rolling and decided, okay, I'm gonna use everything I have. Yeah. No, they're not core packs. Don't be a moron. <laughs> no, no, I mean, that has absolutely nothing to do with piling on or not piling on. Eh? The dirty player is there, not the early fouls. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's the, the existence of a Merc dirty player. And the bribe is gone, yeah. But I mean, the, the bribe is irrelevant. It's the, the dirty player. It's the existence of the dirty player. Is, is what's stopping them. But unfortunately, the dirty player is having to expose himself. Well, maybe he shouldn't have. Maybe 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 this is a mistake by PC. Maybe he should have had the uh, the troll slayer out there rather than the uh, D, the run the DP because uh, you want to keep that DP. Yeah, I would have. I would definitely want to keep this DP around because that's the only thing that's saving at the moment. And now the DP is getting caught up. I think. I think you, you, there's an argument for just blitzing this guy, but he's, he's miles out of play, right? So, so blitzing him gets him up as well. So I think you blitz him with Claw Pong. Right, so it doesn't require much because you already have the players very close by. So yeah, mm -hmm. and sure looks like a 3D. I mean, the guard and the strength of uh, Nolisius here is absolutely overwhelming. Mm. I think I prefer the just the 2D and then like you know position more, but 3D is fine as well, isn't it? Maximum, maximum. I max 3D. Yep. Not if you sit in the pants with the dirty player, going you know maximum and everything like that. And what doesn't pile? What? Doesn't pile. Doesn't pile. This is uh, yeah. This is not what we were promised. What? Imagine not piling. Should have piled because now you're getting 3D by a roller. <laughs> oh, glorious bit of guarding for PC here. God, has to bang down him. Oh, the cars! Get the cars! Punished for a 3D and not even piling. Glorious punish. Apple works. Yep. Yeah, so Nolly's apple gone on turn three. Flip me. Whoa, hey. Absolutely banged on. Love to see it. <laughs> and now is a PC with the main advantage. Hmm. Not hitting the uh, roller there. That was opportunity to hit the roller here, wasn't it? Four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I would have gone for the uh, smash. But the roller, uh, as big as it is, doesn't have a guard and is going to leave the pitch after the half. So. Yeah, but it's pretty good now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Russell doing a thing there. It's pretty bloody good right now. No, the early foul didn't scare him. Not at all, Sadie. Not at all. Not at all. Well, Nolisius is in the chat. Nolisius, did you shit your pants? 
<laughs> Did you shit your pants and think, oh no, he's just a dirty player. I didn't think he'd fouled before, but now that he's fouled, my, the worst player on the pitch. <laughs> I'm scared that he'll foul my claw bombers as well. <laughs> and that guy eats the third or fourth foul, you know, without yep. no problem at all. Yeah, I mean, he hasn't rolled well, to be fair, PC. Like, he could have obviously... Like, he gave himself the high roll chance, like, of just removing that guy and then getting more and, you know, fouling more and removing more and more people. Like, you know, he did give himself that chance. It's and just, now the pylon starts to work. Mm, it's just not what I would have done, that's all. I'm not saying it's shit and wrong to make that foul. It's just that I would have done it. It's not the worst player on the pitch, because he does... Uh, Noddy does have two more, like, beastmen, right? Uh, rookie beastmen. Instead, benched three players better than two people on the pen on the pitch so it's not the third worst player on the pitch for Nolly but it is the third worst player on the team for Nolly. <laughs> yeah the defense is pretty much over now by the looks of it uh, maybe not maybe it didn't need to go quite a hand there wow no tackle on the troll slayer here ho oh ho Yep, no, no, he's in trouble now, isn't he, PC? How does he score? Now you get a foul, look. This is the, see, this is the foul that you wait for, right? This is, this is, this is the way I play this game. Is waiting for... A plus five on a warrior. Here comes the foul on the club bomber and nothing. <laughs> no, I mean, it's a mercenary, you know. It's not a real, you know, part of the team, so he's not getting very, you know, involvement. He already got paid. <laughs> Doesn't want to make the Chaos players angry, you know, those guys have a lot of mighty blow claw, you know. Oh, this guy was standing, so it was only plus two, oh, that's a bit shit. Mm. Alright, well actually, you know, if it was plus if it was plus four, and also could have made it plus five, but I actually quite like that break tackle to get ahead. Because he is under pressure to score. There you go. See, look, that's why you don't foul this guy, right? Just let him dodge off. If he'd never fouled him and let him dodge off on the first, first turn, it would have been an instant KO. <laughs> Shove that up your pipe, shattered ice, you idiot. <laughs> oh, I wonder if it was worth... I think that was... Ooh. Do you know what? I think that was a bit crap. This guy could have come in here, and then you could have chained the roller for an extra one. That would have been nice, wouldn't it? I think. Well, it's 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 about how it works compared to what you just said. I don't know why people have this bizarre bees in their bonnet about things. Just like, just imagine being that wrong. Oh, he's stand firm. Okay, well that's fair enough then. Yeah. In my defence, he didn't use stand firm, which is what made me think he should have chained. <laughs> Classic. Anyway, the dwarves are in a much better position than anyone could expect at the beginning of the game. Yeah, there's a big gaping hole there, wasn't there? I guess Nolly, like, you know, down a lot of players, didn't want to put the best players out in front just to get 2 deed To try and stop the score. Boo. Yeah, great, 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 uh, great turn seven for PC. Turn six and turn seven, really. I don't know how much that is down to a bad turn five and six. I don't know million. why Nolicius didn't reroll the, the block. He has two rerolls in two turns, so maybe he wanted to save him from the dodges, for the dodges, but uh, taking down the, the dwarf. Yeah, it's will make dodges, things much easier. Ah, the dodges. Yeah, there's lots of dodges here, so... This is pretty decent. Yeah, 
there were so many dodges to, to come up. Alright, now going to the roll. Glorious. Still got dodge as well. Yeah, that's pretty nice, isn't it? That's a pretty nice turn. Pretty good defense. <laughs> Claw runs away. <laughs> I say... Oh, we'd go for the bolt to get the score. That's interesting, isn't it? I wonder how realistic it was to not... This guy could have punched him, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Oh, it's tough, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so you'd have to blitz him and then go four, four, three. Four, four, three with a reroll. It's a tough call, isn't it? It sure sucks using the wizard to score, but at least just score. Please. He hasn't scored yet, but yeah, it looks like a... It's true that he hasn't scored yet, but like, you know, use like, you're doing it, you're doing it because you're thinking it's giving you the score, isn't it? <laughs> like that's what... Open chess is KO, you know, the, oh, wow. the, he KO himself. Stop punching yourself. <laughs> and here comes the village for the score. Yep. Here's the pow. Is This is a 5 SPP play. Nearly. Gamble and and a score for the dwarves. Yeah, it was a good good turn good turn seven from Nolly. Like I don't know how bad the turn five and turn six were. But to be that that down that many ways and then still like that many players and still make PC use the wizard was obviously a great well, turn. One seven. one could say that after the extremely strong position that Nolis was after turn one, you know, basing the ball, uh, all the dwarves in one side or something like that. Maybe there were ways to take advantage of that. Mm, but it was great recovery by PC, wasn't but it? But PC recovered uh, spectacularly well. Yeah. Which means, pile on always. If you have killed those three dwarves, you know, there will be... The auto is, pile on. The problem is PC's got loads of reserves, hasn't he? So you can't... Yeah, you but he started the, you start the first half, you know, uh, killing three dwarves. <laughs> the rest of the drive is very easy. PC's got to keep these, uh, yeah, got to keep these off. Yeah, maybe his PC should have made a better turn seven. But um, it's funny, isn't it? Like, obviously, both both players are probably going to be kind of happy with that half, right? PC recovered from the horrendous start of getting the ball carrier swarmed. Nolly made some kind of amazing defense with, like, six players off the pitch or whatever it was. So, uh, and then used the wizard. So, wizard gone is, is good for Nolly. And the score at all is good for PC, but yeah, I guess he should have tried to, you know, just done a few things better, and then maybe as he gets in one nil, and he's still got the wizard. And if he's still got the wizard, he's still got a pretty decent shot. Whereas now, it's obviously trending towards overtime and team deletion. <laughs> and he could have got lucky with the fouls. Yep, he could have got really lucky with the fouls. Like you know. Nope, here we go. There you go. Apo comes in. Yep, still got still one left for PC, none for Nolly. Yeah, it's interesting the fouls. Like I didn't say it was shit and wrong. I just said I hated it. <laughs> it doesn't doesn't mean that I'm right, does it? I just I just hate it because it's not what I would do at all. But. You know, Ducky likes it, PC likes it, so... It's not to say it's wrong, it's just that I would save it for the Claw Pommers, because I don't care about all of the... Like, the multitude of Block Guard Beastmen. I just don't care about them. You can Survive the Beastmen. first LOS uh, hits. Only one uh, Apo used. Wow. Oh. Horrendous KO rolls. But this is still a, there's still eleven chaos because this is the thing. I mean this is an in, like it's an incredible chaos team. Like three uh, claw bombs is still uh, two. Two claw bombs. Three three claw bombs is still on the uh, field. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's an unbelievably good team. Like, 
Imagine these three players being out. A club on Warrior, Block Guard's Dan Firm, and a rookie goat, and you've still got this team on the field. Like, it's an insane team. 100% insane team, but will we suffer the course of the insane teams losing in the first round? Maybe, yeah. PC still got 11, so depending on how the LOS box go, PC might have a chance of stopping this. When I say that, he might have no chance, depending on how the LOS go. <laughs> No, nothing yet. Nothing yet. I would have been very tempted to reroll that. I mean, Noli has five to reroll right now. Yeah, but, but the thing is, overtime is the best you can hope for, isn't it? So. I can understand not rerolling it, but yeah, it would it wouldn't have been it wouldn't have been a bad reroll. Oh no, no claw palm, So no, I guess I wouldn't have rerolled it because he he hasn't got claw. Palm no, it's true. So, yeah, that's the one that doesn't have a claw bomb yet. What a what a loser warrior he doesn't even have piling on. <laughs> shitty teams, shitty teams, uh, rich in chalice. <laughs> and yeah, no need to reroll the pickup there because still got the whole half. Yeah, that's that's perfectly fine. PC going for the weakest link. Probably put these two in contact as well then. Yeah. The problem is, of course, Nolly can uh, can jam in her own guard and get uh, get hits back. Oh dear. It's a misclick, right? That must be. It's gotta be a misclick because that's terrible. Oh that's that's a shame for PC. If that guy stands up it's pretty great, isn't it? Yep. Oh. Oh. Oh Brutal. That's gotta be a misclick. Sad, and then that that gets this guy straight in. You see, is going in hard, but you know, beast men can blitz on strength four. That's terrible, Lord Dog to the dog. Like that's a terrible play. If PC did that on purpose, it was a terrible misplay. I'll say that that is shit and wrong. You know, like I don't often say things are shit and wrong, but that is absolutely one hundred percent shit and wrong. If PC did that on purpose, and uh, so I wouldn't expect that. From, I wouldn't expect PC to do something shit and wrong. So I would say that that was a misclick. <laughs> That was a pretty good hit, wasn't it, by the way? Yep. Nolly the shitty banger goes for the best player. Who cares about position? Just uh, hit the best dude and uh, try and remove them, which is a pretty good strat, to be fair. I think, you know, position is pretty much overrated, honestly. I think more hits and uh, going for better hits. Mm, is, you know, like that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a good way to win games, you know? Like Mr. Page, top of the ladder. He just hits the best players and hits as many players as he can. <laughs> mm. Honestly, I really do think people, you know, especially people who like think they're good, <laughs> over it, punching for position. Just make as many claw pump hits as you can. Hit the best players you can. Not full space, you don't have to like, you don't have to completely neglect the ball, but like maximizing blocks you make and minimizing blocks you take is like. Blood Bowl 101. Mm, really is, isn't it? Especially this early in the half, you know, when there is no actual danger uh, to the ball. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, exactly, no, yeah. 
When your opponent's four players down, then you can start playing for position a bit. Now there's a lot down here for... Well, there's two stuns for Nolly though, so... Not easy. Was that a healing pylon, was it? Oh yeah, that was a terrible pylon. Because of the... Because uh, of the game not telling you. I hate that when the game doesn't tell you it's a, doesn't tell you it's a KO. I really fucking hate that. Terrible game. Don't worry, soon it will be worse. Yeah, won't it? Boy howdy, I couldn't be less enthusiastic to play the ball three. But at least there'll be no more claw pawn. Just way more dwarves. <laughs> Woo! And orcs. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean there's already millions of orcs though, right? Like orcs have always been a nice play team and in Blood Bowl 2, so... But yeah, there probably will be more Orcs. Yeah. Even more Orcs in Blood Bowl 3. And also, Orcs aren't, aren't as annoying as fucking Dwarves, are they? <laughs> Let's be honest. This is a bit tricky, so you either pile in here to recover these three, or you just use this to do better, and I think turn 12, it's still worth just trying to recover all of this. <laughs> I don't know, are we yet? Yeah, I don't know. Oh no, I've got I've got eight days to think about it. I'll do Blood Bowl three for a bit. Like I've got to, I've got to try and milk it, haven't I? Everyone, that's what everyone's doing. <laughs> That's why Lupak, Sage, and Russ are back. <laughs> Everyone's trying to milk the teat before it dries up. Yep. Which, which will be pretty quick, I think. Oh, there we go, Cass. There you go, finally. Could have hit the stand firm, though. And no more uh, apples for uh, BC, so now every cast. Yeah. But the same goes for uh, Nolisis. Oh, KO. PC running out of players now, isn't he? And now this is when you can start playing for position because you've, you've banged out a bunch of players. Well, two. <laughs> but still, you know, it matters, doesn't it? This guy's down, yes. so it's like you've got three and there's a gaping hole through the centre here. Like, this is a gaping hole. Probably bad play by PC, honestly. I don't don't know what he could have got, but like this is over commitment for sure, right? There could have been two players here, two players here, and one player here. Now I don't know if he if he had the movement to do that, but like you know, an extra player here, moving one of these three over here is way better. Now whether he could have you know chicked them all around like that or not, I don't know. Got a pile, haven't you? Got a pile on every time. Yes. 
You have the main advantage now, so you can afford having a few players on the ground. Yeah. Just pile unless it loses you the game, pile on. That is the, that is literally the rules. Because the claw palm odds are just too insane. Like that's that's the, ultimately the, the odds are just too good to uh, to not pile on. We could see a dodge at the end of the turn here from PC. It's a bit rubbish though, isn't it? Could have got a bit luckier there, PC. Try and get something in front, but... The fact that he couldn't, maybe he just needs to concentrate on banging. So he's trying to get the assist there, yeah. Yeah, now in release is a bit really easy to keep the stall. Mm. Yeah, to be fair, the gods have been rather durable, although they failed the KO rolls the chaos uh, pretty badly. At least they've uh, endured the mighty blow hits. The PC's got a lot of mighty blows still. Although he's like the low TV dwarves without much of a chance. Uh, it's still a lot of Mike Ross, so he could have been a lot luckier than what he was. These were the obvious hits to make. I wouldn't have minded tagging the troll slayer. Over right the bludger. The bludger could have done, done him. Oh, Kaz. Another one uh, gone. Yep. It was 2-1 to Gadenic, Steve. I mean, the thing is, dog the dog, even if he had, it wouldn't have made much difference with it. <laughs> you know, like three of these haven't removed record from KO. Left side of the pitch, full of bodies lying there. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, he's going for the 3D. <laughs> he's gonna need it because that the piece doesn't have tackle. Yeah. No. Down to uh, haven't used any rerolls. That's pretty sick, isn't it? That's some good kekwadi. Because like Nolly might have to win this, losing the toss, right? So that's why I. will Quite like not rerolling actually turn one. Might I might have like frustration rerolled if it was a three D with piling on. And there is certain element to the like getting, you know, getting the moves as soon as possible. So maybe it would have done, but the fact that the best you can hold for is OT, it's pretty nice going into OT with five rerolls still, isn't it? But he talked to the dog, he got the cast, but the Nolicious used the apple. <laughs> mm. So at least there was one cast. Well, I mean, I don't think anybody would have frustration reroll without piling on, but with piling on, it could have frustration rerolled, but it wasn't piling on. Kek, would he? So, yep, there we go, All right? But then uh, LOS hits for PC. Yet more mighty blowers. Oh, and now all the kills oh, come back. Oh, yeah. I take it you're you're on course to play them in the second round, uh, dog to the dog. But uh, the the problem, the problem with this is I don't think it matters what what happens to Nolly's team here, <laughs> as far as I, you're concerned. <laughs> I think uh, Nolly just can't afford to lose some players here. <laughs> <laughs> like as horrendous as dwarves are for underworld, you've got you've got to uh, you've got to be cheering the dwarves still.
Chill yourself for the one turn? Probably. Right, 11 players. Tight LOS. I think you've got to try for it. Just because, like, you know, if it doesn't work, you've still got, you've still probably got my ball hits on, on the guys that... Shit got down. Going for the foul. Yeah. Trying to get rid of uh, another uh, guard. Now, now this foul is awful, isn't it? This foul is an awful foul. This is terrible. Undisputedly incorrect. Yes, Hello. because I think uh, PC will have uh, still will have uh, sorry, knowledge still will have uh, eleven men anyway. So yeah. Hello, Kalon. Hello, Kalon. Hey, Lon. It wasn't Kalon, it was Dimmy. Sorry, I thought he said hello. <laughs> oh ah. my god. <laughs> Honestly, it sounded Irish. Hello. Ah. <laughs> Tough in the morning hello. to you, Dimmy. <laughs> hello there, everybody. Hello, how are you doing? <laughs> sorry, sorry, Dimmy and Kalon for that. I just literally, because I, I don't have the Discord on, right, on the monitor, so I, don't, I never see when somebody joins. Dimmy, Tim Lord. <laughs> Tim Lord. Kami. <laughs> no, okay, Tim Lord's better. <laughs> How was your birthday for me? It was uh, good, yes, it was the 30th of January. It was a uh, while well ago, but yeah, it was uh, good. Uh, uh, they are building my new PC as we speak, so I'm uh, expecting to receive it this week. Oh, mm. nice. Glorious. Are you going to install Blood Bowl 3 on it? <laughs> I haven't even bought uh, Blue Ball 3 and I don't have any plans to buy Blue Ball 3 in the near future. Is it like your personal one, is it? And is it uh... is, uh, the PC is going to be, yes, uh, it's the one yeah. that used to work and play, so yeah, it's going to be a beast. Ah, uh, okay. The guy, the guy that PC fouled isn't even getting fielded, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Just quietly. Um, yeah, I guess he didn't know whether he was going to win the toss yet or not, was he? Either. That's a bit, yeah, I guess so. And, um, the third man has entered the booth, yep. Yeah. I um, am the third man. <laughs> Boomer on the LOS, so no use of, just a, no use of bombs, is it? Just a player, so that could have been the DP. Bit of movement, I think that's fine, right, because Chaos can move around and score quickly. Like, I don't think Nolly will be in a rush to score quickly, but, like, you've got to respect their potential, too, so you do need a bit of responsiveness on the field. A I would say. Nice chaos team, isn't it? It's so got three quiet. plodgers. It's an incredible yeah. chaos team. God, plodgers. Yeah, they're un it's an unbelievable chaos team. Like, just literally. Hey, his wrestle guy's got block. <laughs> I know, yeah, that's... What the hell? <laughs> I guess oh, it was probably just for this game, right? So I thought... You know, two heads, he's not going to be dodging too much. Could have taken a mighty blow, but that's not going to do a lot against Dwarves. Could take Fend. Could have taken Stand Firm, I guess. But I guess Wrestle gives you a, Wrestle gives you a Rackler versus the Elves, and, and a Wrestle is just better than Block versus Dwarves, isn't it, generally? Yeah, you can't take uh, Wrestle on first skill on a Beastman. That would be horrendous. I mean... So, in this case, it's their fourth skill on the Beastman. Yeah. No, I do it all the time. I always go wrestle. <laughs> yeah, I think I, I do like wrestle first. I love now. wrestle beast. Mm. This uh, absolutely disgusting uh, LOS hits. Yeah. Sadness. Is, like, Sadness. To be fair, I did watch. I watched this noise. like um, live, and like PC didn't roll many pals at all yeah. during the game. This guy should have gone on the LOS though, and then he got a boom at the score to throw bombs, right? Weird. Yeah, but this is this is pre OP boomer, isn't it? This is. Oh, is it? It's not even boomer. It's bomber, isn't it? It's, uh, OP, isn't yeah, it? this is boomer. Yeah, he's he's got the model for bomber, but it is boomer. <laughs> yeah. There was a lot of pushes there for Nolly, but I mean that's fair. There's been pushes for PC, hasn't it? Pushes for days, Jim. As far as the eye can see. Yeah. 
It's a bit rubbish 1D there, isn't it? But I guess PC had four dice and he's got to try and make something happen. The, the 1D and follow getting away from Corpon, which is worth it, isn't it? It was, the one, it was 1D or Dodge, so I guess you've got a 1D. Does the bomb? Oh! Oh, here we go. It's bomb! Accurate. Oh, didn't even <laughs> kill his own player. Dice. Wow. Bomber eats the claw pom hit, glorious. Total blood bowl, isn't it? <laughs> There's a lot of stand firm on these teams, isn't there? Yeah. Yep. Oh, uh, I just thought I'd say uh, congratulations to uh, Gedanik. Thanks, Dimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Get the cars. Get the cars. Oh, and he's dead. Is he dead, dead? Nearly. Yeah, he's dead, dead. Yeah, dead, dead. I mean, no, you have to, if he's alright, you keep him because he uh, loses one armor, but he's a strength for. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, you could argue that maybe he's going over here was better, but yeah. I don't know. I quite like. Nolly's drive has been about as urgent as the Royal Mail. <laughs> hey. Yeah, it doesn't have to be urgent, does it? You know, that was that is how honestly I believe uh, PC lost his final to Dave, or was you know him thinking that he's you know just. Like, and I can understand it. You can argue whether it's wrong or well, not, but like... I think what Nolly was probably trying to achieve was like, obviously PC's getting on a bit. <laughs> and if he drags it out long enough, PC might just expire before the game finishes, you know. <laughs> so no, no. Just add, added some equity. <laughs> no, <laughs> okay. no, no, you've got claw palm, you know. You, you, just, you just bang the team out and then you just yeah, go easily. Yeah. He did, uh. He's got a nice shape bolt PC. He's got, he's mm. got... Yeah, Nolly can even turtle, yeah, with a two, two reroll advantage. Even turtling is fine. I mean, no one's ever lost a game with a two reroll advantage before, have they, Jim? In never, game? ever, Dimmy. No, never, ever. Certainly Especially not in, in a chance. final. Yeah. It never has happened in, in the history of Blue Ball. <laughs> <laughs> Especially to Norse. <laughs> no, I mean that was uh, that'd be crazy talk. How could that ever happen? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <I'm sure>. disregard. <laughs> God damn it, Dimmy, you just come in here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought you needed cheering up, mate. So you know. It's, uh, it's yeah, thanks. <laughs> oh, that's the arm break this time. I mean, like, oh, no, okay, oh. as a fan of Blood Bowl, I am quite happy to see uh, Dwarves getting beaten up a bit. Because uh, they're normally beating me up. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, but yeah this is a brutal matchup for PC. Absolutely brutal. Probably worst possible draw. Um, can't really think of anything that is worse. But he's done all right to have like this many players and get into overtime. He finally makes a, a move. It's the first move for ages. Yeah, he's done well. He has done well, but yeah, huge golf in teams. Oh yeah, yeah. Absolute golf. It is like yeah, probably probably was not even just worst possible matchup in general. The literal worst possible matchup in the cup for PC. <laughs> Literally the absolute worst possible matchup. Oh. I think Bob Bowl Two is just trying to teach PC to to take a bigger dwarf team. <laughs> They're like, come on. Mind you, I don't even think a bigger dwarf team. Uh, I have a question about really uh, the rule set. If uh, the guy with the Hail Mary pass oh, right, inter yeah. intercepts, a, intercepts a, a bomb, Mary intercepts or you know, intercepts a bomb thrown by Boomer, could yeah. he use Hail Mary pass? He should be able to. However, Poglar attempted this and it doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but he should be able to. Man, that would be so awesome. Mm, it would, wouldn't it? You could like straight throw the bomb to him, you know, with Boomer, like fuck it, and then you go pick up a in work. 
Yep. It'd be great. Ooh. Uh, yeah, exactly, Doctor the Dog. Yep, he did need the he needed the tossing OT or more removals or saving the wizard. Yep. And you know, you can definitely argue that what he did with the fouls was correct in that that again gave him an avenue to just mass remove right by. A one day on the pool, Jim. All red dice pile on, getting it's rowdier and rowdier. Because he can, there's a chain there to chain out the uh, stand firmer. If he hits the warrior, okay. and then he runs around the side. Yeah, it might have to do a GFI. It might even be a dodge, to be fair. I can't, I can't pause it or look at the thing because you know the games. Yeah, game so shit. he can, he can use the the long beard right in the center of the pitch to hit the warrior to chain the long beard on his left. Out. One, two, three. You'd have to four, dodge though, still. You would, yeah, you'd need one dodge. One dodge. But yeah, 4 2 2 GFI. for a 1D is better than nothing, yeah. isn't it? Well, I mean, the game's just gone, isn't it? Like, if you. <laughs> Top scores. <laughs> especially, especially you roll shite. Oh, he might have even been going for it. Yeah, he might yeah. have been going for it. Yeah. Wow. Oh my god, yeah, now it's, now it's a 3 I mean, reroll. To be fair, to be fair, right? He could. He could have actually put another beard on the left of that beard and then double chained him. So, like, pushed him in between and then chained him again. Actually, maybe not because you need to fill another square. Yeah. Okay. Disregard. You mentioned it in disgust after the dub skulls. Yeah, fair enough. So now Nolly definitely doesn't have to score with a three reroll advantage. Mm. Yeah. Not to so going to be 81% to win. I mean, that's huge, isn't it? But obviously still going to try and score, but doesn't have to. <laughs> doesn't have to score to be like a huge favourite. Yeah, that's, I mean, obviously it's still going to try and score. It'd be crazy. Oh, he was going for it, yeah. yeah. Well, it's kind of like a little bit sloppy, if I'm being hypercritical. Yeah, 14. To be two. fair, it wasn't... I mean, he did have like 17 dice on that beard as well. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Out, so... so. It's just blood bow, isn't it? Yep. You remember rolling pals, Jim? Oh, vaguely. <laughs> I saw Nick do it a few times. Oh, I saw him KO your Saurus. Yep. On the old Dakar. And I'll kill the you Crocs. not being able to handle the Dakar, Jim. I know, yeah. I just, I don't know how I put, I just put the skink in the wrong square. I don't know how. Ah, I think so. Mm. That's that, that's the thing, right? If I if I was if I was as good as I am when I finish the turn, <laughs> I'd be brilliant at blood bowl. Because I always like finish my turn. I'm like, oh, that guy should be in that square, and that guy should be in that square. <laughs> <laughs> and if I could do that before I finish my turn, I'd be amazing at blood bowl. But yeah, I like for me, I'm very visual, so I need to see it before I can understand it. And the problem is, is I have to put everyone in that place before I realise that it's the wrong place. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, this square would be really good right now. <laughs> <laughs> I activated him like three players ago. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, I did it like the next guy, and I moved my other guy, and I was like, wait, why is this guy in the wrong square? And I just, like, I just had the word in the wrong square. Like, I knew where the right square to put him was, and I just. Yeah. Plus, I'm lazy as well because like counting squares is just so boring. So I just estimate their movement. Yeah, I, I do. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, this should be fine. And then it's just like, oh no, I'm one square short. Which I means tend everyone is one yeah. square short, which means I have to do seven GFIs instead of none. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, I tend to, I tend to just do that. Like, just know that you know, that's X amount of squares and not yeah, really yeah. count it, whereas you should really count it every time. And, and then you've got like a move bus guy or something and you're like, holy... Mate, Elliot's disdain for move bus guys is hilarious. Yeah, because it always just seems critical, doesn't it? Like, it just it's always... always the move bus guy there. Yeah, you're just always. like, oh, this, why, why is my cage not complete? <laughs> you're like, ah. Oh. <laughs> Oh. Mate, look at that blob of skills. Oh, wow, opens up with a 1D. Yeah, he said he, uh, there was a reason behind this as well. Or at least he claimed there was. No, because that Troll Slayer was going to 
surf and get in front, I guess. No, he wasn't. He was going to go for the pommel or something like that. I don't know. Oh. It... Oh, yeah. Okay, so what he could have done was, without dodge off, and then he hits him, and then he chains him one, then he changes him... Oh, but then he's stunned firm, so he'd have to chain him to there. And then chain him there, and he could have uphilled the ball or something. It's stand firm, Jim. <laughs> I know, that, that's but... what he goes, he hit this one. And then... He could have uphilled the ball. This was the one that I was going to stand firm, because he was stood there. Like, that was the one that I was going to... Split one, two, three, four, five, six, seven at first. And then you hit this guy. He's not stand firm. So you could go into there and then push. Oh, he's stand firm. So yeah, so then you push there. That's what I said. Fuck me. And then he'd go there. It wouldn't really work though, would it? Because th this guy was there at first. So you'd want this to not be stand firm. So then you could go there, in into there, and then get another one. So without it being stand, with it being stand firm, you'd need another field here. So I don't know what his idea was. Hello, Jack. Well, baby. Or oh, Jimmy. I didn't understand that, but <laughs> you know, Jimmy, your mate. Oh, little Jimmy, yeah, little, little Jimmy. Little Jimmy. Oh my God, that was amazing. <laughs> Oh my god, that was amazing. Little Jimmy. That was a rowdy block as well. I know. Mm. Yeah, now it's over, isn't it? Don't say it's over, Jim. Oh, I guess if he got the push on that one and he would have dodged it, well, he wouldn't have needed to dodge it, he would have just pissed it. Herp, derp. Base, mm. base, base. This won't fail. I think that's I'm it. Time rate. to, you know, <laughs> write in chat, you know. GG. GG. BG. BG. Can't wait for Blood Bowl done. 3 with the uh, removal of Corpom, you shitty banger. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no, that was a good game. That was a good game. I think both played pretty well. Um... And most of the things that I disagreed with, again, were just like my preference, and it's not to say that it was definitely correct. Except for the dodge that PC did that was surely just a misclick. And the foul. No, no, the foul wasn't particularly wrong, that's what I'm saying. It's just, it's just I don't like it, and it's not what I would do, but that doesn't make it wrong. <laughs> Could have been a slaughter, yeah. I mean, that's a lot of dice, though, callbacks, mate. Like, if this was me playing against Nolly, like, I, he would have cast my whole team in two turns. Um, quietly. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean the the dwarves the dwarves could have cast the cast the Yeah, I mean like you punch your movement eight with mighty blow like constantly and like my experience of chaos is you lose players very easily, but that's the other thing as well, isn't it? He's got these he's got like the dodge and stuff and he's got tons of guards so it's oh, like And the shitty bangers of Nolly survive the course. The grain is course. Mm. What's I know, the... so many, so many others, so many others that also had great teams disappear in the first round. Yeah, Shawnee and Nick, two of the, two of the greatest ever Wood Elf teams, got eliminated in the first round, didn't they? Um, Nick's Woodies and Shawnee's Woodies. I think Dadel Quist also had an epic uh, Woodies uh, team that got destroyed in the first round. Yeah. <laughs> um... Yeah, all my teams have been amazing. They've all been destroyed <laughs> in the first round. My 1200 Kemri team, particularly. That was one of the best teams ever in Chalice. Yeah, there you go. See, 57 blocks and only two cards. You could definitely have expected more like uh, from that, but um, ultimately, yeah. Those <laughs> Destroyed by not scoring. That wasn't round one, though. That was round two, I'm sure. That was round two. Mm. That was so funny. The greatest Wood Health uh, team to never make Chalice, indeed, Dog to the Dog. Um, yeah, so you know, on another day, PC could have got lucky. Like he gave himself the chance to be lucky, um, but his yeah, team was way. His, yeah, his team was way, way worse. Uh, it was a good game, though. Uh, thank you very much, Fimir and Dimi, being glorious having you on. It's always a pleasure to be here, and I hope the people from Belize have enjoyed this banging on men's, making their flag uh, proud. 
<laughs> and uh, condolences to uh, PC that the, once again he is denied the winning challenge before the graduation of his daughter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.